Hello, welcome back to Cynthia Rowling today. On the Sparker family with Jeff, Ella, Rebecca, Marcy, Charlize, Deborah, Linda, and Mina. Looky here, today I am building the Heart Lake City Movie Theatre, and here are the costs and pieces so you can see how much this costs in our country. Now, a word from Julian. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Great, thank you for helping me out there, Julian. Now back to the set. Right now I am taking out all the bags and making sure I didn't leave anything in the box. I left in two purple base plates, that's no good. So now let's see what we've got in here. So three purple base plates, bag number three, another purple base plate, bag number two, Bag number four, bag number one, a very thick sheet of instructions and on the back, these are all the 2021 sets and I have yet to get Andrea's house but I'm still trying to get that one for you guys and for me too. And lastly we have our sheet of stickers which is a little bit but that's okay. Now let's open up bag number one because it's the bag where I am going to start with first so let's cut open the tiny accessories now let's take a look at the mini dolls this is andrea and she gets brand new bottoms with a navy blue rim on the skirt and gold sandals and a very brand new bow tied top it's gorgeous i want these in all the skin tones and different colors there's no printing underneath her arms which is a shame, and yes, I do have a pin marks on my hand. And Andrea gets her lovely, lovely head and her hair, so that way she is fully equipped to be Andrea. Next, we get a brand new mini doll named Amelia. I much rather like Amelia spelled with an A, but this will work. And she gets a beautiful dress with some gold printing and a pearl necklace. There's little printing on the back, which is sad, and no printing under the arms. I'm just making sure. She gets a brand new face with lots of makeup and very large lips. She is looks a little angry, but maybe she's just making an acting face. And she gets a Nina hair and a dark brown, and she is ready to go. You're so pretty there, Amelia. Now let's have you talk to Andrea. And we get our last mini doll. This is Julian. He works here at the movie theater. He also comes to the high school. And that's how his torso came the bag. But let me fix it. No printing on the back. And there's some nice detailing on the front though for the old torso style. He gets a really cute li little kid face with some glasses. And a big bright smile in the Harry Potter hairstyle. And a cream tan color. Now we have all the mini dolls, so it's time to start building this set. So we're going to start off with the accessories, including a pen and paper to become for the autograph. Now let's build the movie theater. This is going to be the cinema area where you sit down to watch a movie in your big, fancy, reclinable red chairs. But first we have to set the walls up first. So that's what we're doing adding on some of these parts on the side like these bricks and every time i make a mistake i will let you know because i made so many mistakes in this video adding on some lights some wood flooring and now we're attaching another base plate to extend it out okay we're adding a large brick and no it does not go in the center there be I don't know why it's not centered. I'd much rather have it centered. And I don't know why the other brick is tan and not white. We also get some more flooring. And a black base plate. Ah, uh, look, there's my first mistake. I forgot to add on one of the, uh, one by, is it 12? Or one of the, half of the length of the block there to extend out the seats that's not good and i will have to rip it apart but let's worry about that later this chair is really cool it's not reclinable like i had previously stated i would have much rather had a reclinable chair but these will still work they're really cool designs and of course the red and black combo is really nice the colors in this set are gorgeous really regal and elegant 
2021 LEGO designers are doing really awesome with producing lots of sets. And next year is the 10 year LEGO Friends anniversary. So I'm sure we'll get at least one amazing set. Not that these aren't amazing because they are. And here is where you'll see my mistake when I try to put on the bark of the chair. And my brick separator is not working for me, so I have to use my fingers. And yes, my nail stickers were starting to come off. See, look, there it is. Now I can put on the cushions and the box and the tops. My Lego friends can't really sit that well in these seats. But they're still really cute. It's more for decoration, I guess. If the seats were angled a little bit, kind of like at a downward slant... So that way their feet are higher than their bottoms. They would sit much better or have some footy pieces. Well, except for Amelia and Edna, who I added to this set. We also get a random box of popcorn because some people are too lazy to throw out their excess in the trash. Hopefully nobody eats that. Hmm, hopefully it doesn't attract mice either. That would be terrible for the ground reopening or opening. And... Here is my mistake number two. I am almost certain that I forgot to put on one of the um bo Oh yes, I had put it at three in front instead of two in the back. So that's what I had to fix. Now it's better, I'm pretty sure, for now at least. I'll have to wait and see later. There's lots of mistakes because... I've never built anything in this shite before of Lego Friends, and I've been building ever since I w Lego Friends was released, but I really started getting into it about a pinch over a year ago. And this is a mistake. Well, I don't know if I'd count that as a mistake because I figured it out as I went along rather than realizing what I had done after. So I think I'll leave it now. And looks like we have roxy and nina on the screen but really that's not roxy and nina that's edna my own lego friends mini doll and amelia but i turned amelia into a lady named susan because amelia also comes in the hotel and i am definitely getting the hotel because i love hotels they're so elegant and regal so I can't have two Amelias walking around. That'd just be crazy. We have some curtains going on. This screen is beautiful. It's gorgeous as LEV or Build It, Make It, Play It or any other Lego friends, YouTuber and enthusiast would say. This was so difficult for me. I'm not that good at technical pieces. I know you might think I am, but... This is going to be another mistake coming up. I literally had to get my mom to help me pop that piece off because I put it on backwards. So you can try watch me struggle with it. If you would like, I'm sure you will because everyone likes a mess up. So mistake four is here. No, three. Okay, my mom just fixed that for me. She popped it out right away. But it took me a few minutes of struggling. But good news. I know what I'm doing now. I will not put this on backwards this time. So it's time for the other Technic arm. Which is going to support the stand up by itself. I wish there was a way to hide the Technic arms. But I don't know how you would do that. Maybe making some real curtains. Like of that uh, blankety material from the Lego Friends. No not Lego Friends. Lego Disney accessory set but look at that it's so cool and later i'll show you how to add your phone stand to it yes you can add your phone to make your lego friends lego or any toy you have really watch something cool and we're finishing up with the front but right now i have to add on these blue supports is what's going to prop up your phone or your phone stand your phone case i use a phone case because i film with my phone not a camera and these i can't tell if they're air vents or speakers they could be what you wish i'm assuming they're speakers though so that way you can hear everything air vents would be cool though and i'm just adding on these extra pieces and now we're on to bag number two which is the bag julian came in but i took him out to preview all the mini dolls at the same time and julian also gets a bag of popcorn now it's time to start the actual build 
This is going to be the concession stand where Julian works. That's why Julian actually comes in this bag. There's lots of symmetry going on here, as you will see. And more mistakes coming. I don't know if I should do bloopers video because I delete everything to clear up storage on my phone after. That'd be cool though. If you would like that, let me know. But that might be a bad idea because all of my storage is gone now. So we got a red, a mini red carpet, some nice lights extended in the red carpet to add a base plate to it. A very, very tiny curved base plate, which will be half. This is the left half, and then I'll make the right half after, then the top of the roof, and then the silly plate, and then add credits, and that's it. I know it doesn't sound like much, but this video is 46 minutes long. Yes, it's really long. Originally, though, it took me one hour and 43 minutes. That was how long it took me to film this for you. Woo, that... My videos take longer than you think. Not as long as other LEGO Friends YouTubers, but they do take a while. And building up the top of some of these beautiful mint i call the mint lego's technical term is light aqua or aqua depends on your accent and adding some of these forward facing studs to create an optical illusion yes cynthia an optical illusion but of what that i cannot tell you building it up so that way they're the same height sticking it on the side great one wall piece done check next step is the door frame I have to pop this in here really nicely. And yes, I flipped on the bad. Not the bad side, but the wrong side. That's why it wasn't working. Adding a gold star because this is a fancy cinema. We need lots of gold stars and more of those forward facing studs. And you can already see how it is working. And adding on some extra red flare. I like the, the combination of the red, the light teal, and the dark teal together. Really nice color combinations. And even the purple works too. It all works together. Some arches. Do not know what the arches are for, to be honest. And now, mistake number four is here. I put the light aqua bricks in the wrong spot. And you will see in just a minute. So now I have to figure out what I did wrong, but really all I did was put the bricks in the wrong spot. There was no reason for me to break this all apart, but you know what? I still did anyway, because I did not realize that I made the simplest mistake ever. So you will see, there's actually supposed to be an empty brick space right there, but I did not know that, you see. So that's what I did wrong i all i had to do was move over the light aqua bricks just a space over and it would have worked but no my brain th works differently for some reason see that's it that's how it's supposed to be other than the fact that i knocked that over that wasn't so hard cynthia luckily i remember how to do this on the other side this is the first Lego friend set that opens up this way, so I don't know how it really works. Or works to be- yeah. I- I don't know. I know I'm babbling a lot. I like to babble. Yes, I do. That was a song lyric that I made up. And mis- I don't know if I'd call this a mistake, because I realised that I flipped it around just now rather than waiting and building on. So I don't know if I'd call that. That would be like a half mistake. I'm not going to put that down. I could, but I'm deciding not to. Now, this is another half mistake. Flipping it around again. But I fixed it. And I have to get my brick separator. I'm glad that this came in here. Lego must have known that I would need this quite a few times. Even though it didn't work for me every single time. Adding on more of those beautiful light aquas. And an arch, so that way it's just better than having a lot of clunky bricks. The arch at breaks up that clunkiness a little bit. Not, I'm saying it is clunky. And the the uh, hinge pieces are actually a lot to find to build. They pop in really smoothly, and then you can swerve them around. 
Now we're adding on another sticker. It's the concession stand sticker with some beautiful yellow and blues. So that way Julian can punch in how much it cost. But everything here is a hundred dollars. Lego, please make more money currencies. Make some five, some ones, maybe a ten, a twenty, fifty dollar bill. Anything other than five cents in a hundred. And ooh, that's another movie. I do not know what it says. It's in like a scribbled language so that way everyone so that way Lego doesn't have to translate it. But there's a heart and a moon. Maybe it's the heart like city girls go to the moon. I don't know if I'd want to watch that. I'm not a sci-fi kind of person, but I know some people are. I'd probably want to watch the Heart Lake City story. I do not know what that's about, though. Lego, can you fill me in, please? Like more details. All I know is that it's a premiere. And to go to a premiere, you need a ticket. You need more than one ticket, though. There should be a little stash in the back of maybe two more tickets. Because three mini dolls are included, although I know Andrea would need it. Julian works that. I guess Amelia, since she's the star of the show, she wouldn't need it. So I guess Lego made it reasonable to include one ticket. But if you ever wanted more Lego friends mini dolls to go to the show, then you would need more than one ticket. So it's always nice to have a spare, and I know I do not get a spare ticket. Oh, I'm done talking about tickets for now. I'm rimming the top with more of that cyan, cyan blue, whatever it's called. I know, but I not look it up. And this is a really cool technique I never would have done. Stuck on those pillowed curves onto a base plate sideways to create some dimension to the set. And make it look deeper. Adding on a roof. Because, yes, there is a second level to this, believe it or not. Now, here are the extra pieces, and it's time to look at bag number three. The bag that Amelia came in, but yes, I did take her out early. So, let's start building. We are basically going to make the same thing that we did on the other side, but this time... We are going to, instead of making a concession, concession stand, a stand for Amelia to stand on and a little bathroom with barely any play space. It's still the thought that counts though, right? Because everyone has to use the bathroom at the movie theatre after drinking their soda shakes. I know I do. Now, of course, though, it's right at the end of the movie when everything is getting resolved and it's getting good at the climax. Of course, that's when I have to go to the bathroom because that's just how my life works. Although, yeah, just irony along with other things that I will not mention. Should I have said that? Now you're probably wondering, uh... Well, fine, I'll just tell you. I have to go to the bathroom right before or during when I'm filming. Yes. I know I probably just really grossed you out. Ha ha, I scarred you for life. Please come back, though. I love enjoying your company. I love having you here with me. It makes me so happy that you're joining me for 46 minutes. Or however many minutes, really. Adding on another sticker, the star sticker, because Amelia is a star, so she obviously has to stand there. And the gold chain to protect her from getting uh, trampled on by her, all of her fans waiting to meet her there. Because she is not a mannequin, she is a human Lego. I don't know if that makes sense. Human Lego? Well... Yes, I don't know why I'm going with this. Ha ha. We are replicating the same thing on the other side. We will add on that pillowed curve piece at the very end of bag number three. Before bag number four. Okay. Adding on an aqua piece on the top like we did with the last one. And it's starting to come together really nicely. But there's a, lot more, a long ways to go. Adding on another door. We're making this side symmetrical to the other side. Because it does look weird otherwise. I don't know if how it just depends how asymmetrical it looks. Popping on a star and one of those navy blue bricks. 
and we're starting no we're not starting with the bathroom quite yet we have to add another one of these red star design pillars i believe they're like velvet ropes Ooh, those are nice i want to touch a velvet rope i i have when i was a little girl but i cannot remember what that was like boo here for me okay more arches on this at uh, this set itself i can't really see the arches now five four by one aqua bricks going up instead of four this time i don't know why to be honest maybe it's because the bathroom area is smaller and look the door to the bathroom i do not know why it's silver i kind of like the silver it would have been nice if it was gold though because there really is no silver in this set but there is a lot of gold and gold is just so much classier than silver, in my opinion. Unless that isn't silver and that's platinum. Because everyone knows platinum is ten times more beautiful than gold. It's a matter of opinion, but at least that's what I've heard. Building up the side again. This is going to be the inside of the bathroom. I thought it was going to be the outside. But I was obviously wrong. So more mint to back up the wall and what else are we adding uh, a little plant because every bathroom needs a plant to clear up the smell of number ones and number twos and why is this piece so hard to put on it's not a mistake it's just hard for me to put on push push pop on please oh my gosh why isn't it working let's see if it helps if i can take something off maybe I got it. I was just putting it on wrong. There is going to be a spice there, I'm pretty sure. Now, look. The toilet. And look, mistake number five. I put that grey plate on, on one stud to bark. Woo, I'm getting tired of talking. And I still have over 20 minutes to go. No. Oh, my voice will be gone by the time I'm done. Okay, sink area, good. Except I have to add another light aqua piece on it to build it up. So that way people can actually reach the top of the sink, of course. So what else will I be adding? Yes, another sticker to the wall. This, it looks like an action movie. I see a hint for the Lego Friends Ferris wheel. There have been lots of hints, including an Andreas house with a big circus tent. Lego, I know you're trying to hint that that set, that those sets are coming out this year. And yes, they are. If you don't believe me, go to lego.com. Check under friends, under themes. Go scroll on to the left. Click availability. Coming soon. And you can see everything that is coming out in june and august or you can just watch my videos i have five weeks videos i believe that sounds about right okay and this is set up, like you know how you see those backdrops with all the stars and designs but this says friends so everyone knows this is a lego friends set and i'm making sure the sticker goes on the right the friend sticker goes on the right side and the mirror goes on the other side. I think that just the friends part really adds to the elegantness of this set. It truly does. Rimming the top with the cyan cyan blue. I'll have to look up how to pronounce that when I'm done. Working on my video for you. More navy blue to uh, help support it. And leveling out the top of the arch and more of these pillow wedges to make the sides look symmetrical it's nice i just wish they would clip together because you see that gap the gap is not supposed to be there and i've watched other lego friends videos on this set so i do know that what's next purple top check navy blue rim check Ah, uh, purple base plate in progress, but it's now a check once I clip it on right. And I believe that's the end of bag number three, so it's time for bag number four. I did show you my extra pieces, I always do, but sometimes you can't see it because the transition blocks. 
And now we have a railing because there is going to be a chair there for Julian to operate. But first we have to build the really cool old fashioned styled camera film thing. Uh, what is it called? A screen. Uh, the, I know it's a screen array or a, not sane array, it's a screen array. You might have to help me on that one. I don't know. I, I wasn't born back in the day when these were created before cell phones were invented or before technology started taking over the world. So I don't really know what this is called, but I do know what it looks like. I have seen it before in old movies. It's a really cool kind of thing. I wonder if I could get one of those to film my YouTube videos. I don't know if that would really work though. It could fall over and break and I'm pretty sure those are more expensive. This cinema is definitely themed for maybe like the 60, 50s or 60s based off of all of the glamour because I know the 50s and 60s were really glamorous with ladies wearing dresses, not t-shirts and ripped jeans. And the men were actually gentlemen, not, not that they aren't now. I wonder what it would be like to travel back in time. My mind is really wandering right now. You might have to stop me. Okay. Thank you for that. Back. I, there's, I, we're finished with that camera already. There's nothing else hooked to it. That red thing is a little bit of loose, that red Technic piece. But I think it'll be okay. It's hooked together with those other chunky uh, cac dry cactus. Not they're not cactuses, but like ro ro roly poly dry cactuses. Like you see them in the country. They roll across tumbleweeds. Yeah, like a tumbleweed cactus block things. Oh, I see the arches now. Hello, little arch. You actually add a lot of really cool things to the set does break up the blockiness too the chair is the exact same style as the red sitting chairs which that is really nice more symmetry just in it and other it looks like it'd be one of those older chairs like one from an airplane or a helicopter that's really old and rockety like a just an extra chair like well, there's not enough money to add another fancy red chair, so we'll just throw in a dirty old tan chair for Julian. But as long as it holds out its purpose of being a chair, you never want a chair when you sit in it, it breaks. I've seen lots of those videos. Oh my gosh, just those little red overhangs add so much character to this set. A little baby movie theater is born. It's starting to grow and come alive. My goodness. And in case if Lego didn't think it was Heart Lake City, well, there is some hearts in this set. Four to be exact, two on each side. Just so everyone knows that this is the Heart Lake City movie theater, not the Lego City, not the Ninjago, just the Lego Friends. I like that. Okay. And of course, it's navy blue. Just to tie into the whole color scheme. The color scheme here, I know I said it once and twice and three trillion times, but it is gorgeous, really. It's just quite incredible. And please help me expand my vocabulary. I would really like that. This is going to be tricky. Making sure I put the sticker on right because if I put it on the wrong side, it'll just look backwards and weird. So let's see. Ah, oh, I did it. Now playing. And then the other side will say an HLC story. And we all know that HLC stands for Heart Lake City. I know there was not enough room to make it say Heart Lake City. So HLC works. And I do that sometimes. But I prefer saying the full name. Heart Lake City. Whoop, whoop. And just adding some more symmetry to the other side, minus the blue flat piece, I mean the grey flat piece. This one is a navy blue 4x1 bumped piece. I do not know what it's called, all I know it's called a 4x1. But everything other than that, this is a mirror image, minus the sticker too. Now let's make sure I put this on right. 
Ha! Huh, I did an HLC story. I wonder if anyone's ever put on the sticker wrong for this set. If you have, let me know in the comments and I'll share my sympathy with you. Now it's coming along really well. All I have to do is add on this big cinema sign. So that way everyone miles away, 10 miles away, 20 miles, 1 billion thousand miles away can see that this is a cinema. A cinema is a classy term for movie theater. I wonder why Lego didn't just call this Heart Lake City Cinema. Because of the signs of cinema, it should match the name. Or the name should match with the sign. Just depends on what came first, you know? If you agree with me, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. I love when you agree with me. Or when you disagree with me. If you support your opinion, then I guess that works. Trying to push this on. I think I missed a few mistakes. I've been rambling a lot. Did I? You'll have to let me know in the comments if there should have been a mistake where I built something... Didn't realize I made a mistake and then had to go back because I did make that mistake. There's only a little bit left of this part here. Now let's open it up, fix everything, make sure the roofs are leveled because they have to be, otherwise it will not look that good. Take a nice good look at the back, try to fix this again, and add on the sign, and that's it, voila! Well, that's it for the build. Now, let's take a good look at this when it's not angled. It looks pretty good. It's not as big as it is on the box, but I don't think that's ever true, really. And it's a really cool set. It was hard to build, but I am finally done. And it's time for the silly play. Oh, my gosh. Already, that was fast. So, we have Julian here for the cast. And I will also be bringing, this is Monique instead of Andrea because I took Amelia's hair because I'll be using a regular Amelia from the hotel and I cannot have double. So this is Monique who is Rebecca's friend. We will also have in this set, let me just put her down next to Julian first, Rebecca. Come on Rebecca, where is she? Ah, here she is, and she is all glammed up to for this set. And she's the only Sparker member here because she wants to be an actress when she grows up. So it makes sense that she's here, and I'll have her next to her best friend, Monique. And we'll have two more mini dolls. Edna is my own mini doll. A very old but beautiful and talented actress wearing Aurora's dress, I'm aware. Because I made her. And we have bold Amelia. But she is no longer Amelia. I have two hairs. But I cannot tell which I like better. So you can help me. So let's grab the two hairstyles for previously Amelia. So first is Cleopatra's hair. So this will be Cleopatra. I think the headband matches. But the shape of the hair does not really work on her head. It all ties in together nicely though. Minus the shape of the hair. Now let's tack that off and try the other one. This I call the Susan. It's a little bit more classy and more up to date. Although, I, yeah, I like the headband though. So which one should I choose? Honestly, I think I'm going to go with the Susan because it looks a little more sane than that chunky Cleopatra and looks less like a wig. You know, the headband match the dress so perfectly. But Susan, you look beautiful. And we're going to set you up for the silly play, okay? Just say hello. Um, hello everyone. Mwah, mwah. Don't worry, I'll get another Amelia. So I'll have three total, and we can be triplets. So that way I'll have Cleopatra, Amelia, and Susan. But now it's time to set up for the silly play. I'll put Edna... And Susan over here, they'll have to share the red carpet. I wish there would have been like some jumper starts. That way more mini dolls can fit back there. We're going to put Julian behind the concession stand. Waiting for people to buy popcorn, tickets and ices. Yum. And icy sounds good, especially on a hot day. Even though it did not get hot at all. And let's make Monique and Rebecca come over We are finally here, and I can't believe 
I remember to bring my pen and paper to get autographs. Hopefully, that the famous stars Susan Star and Anna can we can meet them, right, Monique? That would be so cool. But this is just the premiere. I don't know if they'll be here. Well, that'd be. It's always good to help, you know, Monique. And I do. We both do want to be actresses when we're older. True, but I know you more than me. Yes. Wait a minute. Do you see Edna and Susan anywhere? I don't know. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, they're really here. I'm going to go get the autograph. Wait, Rebecca, Rebecca, excuse me, Miss Susan and Miss Edna. We're really big fans. May I please get your autograph? Shut sure. Thing. I would love to give you my autograph. Me too. I'm so glad that you are fans. I love giving back to the, my fans. Well, that's so very kind of you. I told you, Monique, you should have brought in a pen and piper. Well, I didn't know. Here, let me sign your piper for you. That would be so lovely. And... Well then, sorry Edna, sorry mini dolls. I'm just trying to figure out the best angle so that way you can see everything. Okay, now let's fix it and reset everyone and then I can continue with the silly play. My bad. Hey, let me give you that autograph. What's your name? My name is Rebecca. Well, Rebecca, hey, let me give you your autograph. Yay, I can't believe it, Cynthia and viewers. I'm getting my first autograph from a famous person. This is huge for me. I want to be an actress when I grow up so badly. Well, then we're glad that we inspire you. Yes, you also inspire me too. I just can't show you because I did not bring a pen and piper. It's okay though, Monique. Now here, can I get those autographs? Sure thing. Thank you so much. Now, do you know when the premiere is going to start? Oh, you want to know when the premiere is going to start? Yes, it'll start in a few minutes. But first, would you like to get your ticket, some popcorn and maybe a slushie? Yes, here is $100 for a ticket and some popcorn. Great, thank you. Will you also be watching the premiere? Of course, I have to operate everything. Great, I got my ticket. Monique, how about you get the popcorn? I will take it, yes, indeed. All right, popcorn, check. Ticket, check. I think all we have to do is wait for Edna and Susan to be ready. I can not simply wait. Me neither. Well, come along. Let's go. When will you guys be ready to start the premiere? Any minute now, really. So then let's go in. Yeah, let's go pick our seats. Wow, everything in here is so lavish. I cannot wait to try out these chairs. They look so comfortable. I know, I cannot believe the new cinema has just opened. I've been waiting for this my whole life. I don't know, maybe your whole life. Monique. Okay, maybe for your whole life. Where should we sit? I think I'll take a seat in the back. Monique, do you want to sit next to me? I think I'll sit in the front. So that way I can get a better view. That's okay. Then I can sit next to one of the stars. Me too. And I wonder where that uh, concierge you know, will sit. Is it concierge? Rebecca, no, he we he works here, and his name is Julian. Oh, Julian, I wonder if he'll sit at the top. Probably, because that's where the camera is. Look. Oh, yes, indeed, you are right. I know I am. Now, let me sit right here. Uh, these chairs are nice. I just wish that they were a little bigger. I know, but they're, they're just for now, you know. See, Monique, you even fell out of your chair. I know. Ah. But it's okay. This is a really high-class styled. 
cinema, even if the chairs do not fit us quite right. Yes, and the movie is going to be really short. Oh, I know, it's one of those short films. Yes. Well, I got to go to the bathroom, Edna. I'll be right back. Okay. Cynthia, what are you doing? Do not watch me. Okay, okay. There, all done washing my hands, doing my business. Let me take a seat. Hello there. Uh, was your name Rebecca? Yes, may I sit next to you? Of course you can. I mean, yeah, sure, if you want. Ha <laughs> ha, you don't need to be freakish in front of me. I'm just a normal person. Yes, but you're famous. So that doesn't change who I am as a person. I guess, but it is so freakishly famous. I want to scream. Ah! No, don't do that here. Oh, okay. I'm just glad to sit next to you. Oh, well, that makes me feel so flattered. Edna, are you coming? Yes, I'm right here. Ah, all right, where should I sit? You can sit next to me. Well, I would love to. I think I'll take my seat right here. Great, but now let's just wait for Julian to start the movie. I'm so very excited. Yes, you're speaking for all of us, Rebecca. Here I am. Are you ready for the movie? Yes, we are ready for the movie. I've been born ready. Me too. I wonder how long the movie is going to be, Rebecca. I don't know, Monique. Do you know how long it is, Susan? It's only supposed to be about 25 minutes. Oh, a nice short movie. Lovely. Julianne, please start the movie. I'm just a kid. I can only do one thing at a time. Look, here I am. I'm sitting in my chair and now I can start the movie. Whoa, look at that. Shh. Hi, hi. But us try to watch the movie there, dear. Okay. That's me, Cynthia Bach. I'm just whispering so they can hear the movie. Look, this is what the movie looks like and I can tilt the screen and the air vents if I want. And later I'll show you what the phone case looks like. And everyone is silently watching the movie with Edna with the blonde hair and Susan with the purple hair. They, the actresses are doing such a great job and they're playing their roles perfectly and everyone is just really loving it especially little Rebecca who feels so inspired by the two ladies now let's just watch in peace for a little bit time's up wow 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 that was such a great movie I know babe Yes, I do think we worked really hard there, Edna. We sure did, Susan. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Yes, me too. And I'm glad I knew how this works because it's my first day working here. Oh, well, that's cool. So we can just hang out for here for a little bit, maybe. Sure, let's do that. And we can talk. Yes, um, Susan, do you have any advice? Yes, never give up. Okay, silly play is over. Now, here is my dad's spare phone case. And this is how you can put it in front of the movie screen. I would use my phone, but I am filming with it right now, so I cannot. And let's just pretend that they're watching one of my Cynthia Rowland YouTube videos. And I can prop it up here, so that way the Lego Friends mini dolls look like they're actually watching a movie of some sort it can be anything really as long as it's on your phone or you can pretend with the phone case so isn't that cool well now that's it for today time to start the end credits wait a minute where's julian oh i have an idea of where he could be yes i was right julian yet yeah, on my youtube channel how great. Well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. 
and do not forget to give my video a big thumbs up like my video and don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and leave me a comment i love hearing from you you make me so happy nice comment julian that makes me happy like i said now let's get you down wait a minute julian go back up there where you're supposed to sit ah uh, that's better well thank you again for watching do as i said please Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment if you'd like, that's optional, but I do love hearing from you. Stick around, I'll have a new video up very soon, in two or three days maybe. And while you're waiting, go on, watch my older videos, I have tons of them waiting for you. And, well that's it for now, bye!